What's up guys? So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how your haters can't hurt you, they can't stop you. The only way they can stop you is if you get your focus off God. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that arises against you in judgment thou shalt condemn. So it says right there that whatever scheme that people try to bring against you, it will not, it will not work. It won't, uh, it won't be accomplished because it's the devil's scheme. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and demons and evil spirits that are actually working through these people that try to come against you. And we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So whatever you're facing right now from that are coming against you from people and what they say and their words and their actions, just know that it will not prosper. It will not come to pass. Whatever they say in every evil words spoken against you in judgment thou shalt condemn so whatever gossip they try to come against you with it's not going to have a negative effect on you temporarily it may seem as though it is but you just have to confess and keep your eyes on god's promise from uh, isaiah 55 verse 17 no weapon formed against me shall prosper and everything that people say against me falls to the ground it has no effect so you don't have to worry about the people scheming against you you don't have to worry about them uh, backbiting and lying and slandering you it's not going to come to pass and they're not going to stop you because the bible says that promotion comes neither from the east or from the west but from the lord so that's it right there it comes from god and who's going to stop god nobody the devil can't stop god um, remember when uh, Peter spoke up and, and said something about, like, no, Jesus, um, what was it? He said, you're not going to die. They're not going to take you. You're not going to rise in three days. And Jesus realized that that's the devil work speaking through him to discourage him and get him off plan. And he recognized right away that that was the devil speaking through Peter. Well, if the devil can put something in Peter's mind to say against Jesus, he can put something against the co-workers uh, in the co-workers' mind to say against you. So you have to realize that the challenges and, and, and people that you're facing are really inspired by the devil. But here's the thing, Jesus already overcame the devil. And if we resist the devil, he will flee. Now you don't resist the person, it's the devil that is working through the person and the evil spirits working through that person that, to try to trip you up because the plan is to trip you up. The plan is to get you off course. The plan is for those evil plans and evil words to have a negative effect on you. But the Bible says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And so when you hear somebody talking junk about you, just walk in love towards them and know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Have that be your confession. Pray for that person. Be good for that person. I know it can be hard, and sometimes you may not always walk in love perfectly towards that person, but uh, you don't have to get stressed about it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So what you do is you walk in love towards these people. Uh, you forgive them. You know that really they're ignorant or they're just jealous about against you. Uh, most of it is either jealousy or... Um, just because you're a Christian. The Bible says that people will shun you because you're in Christ. The Bible says that all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So you got to ask yourself, you know, if you're being good to towards people, if there's nothing in your head that you know that you did that you need to, you know, stop or change, if you weren't talking crap against them, if you didn't do actually something against them and these people are just rude to you for no reason, it's either jealousy or because you're a Christian or both. So don't let it surprise you. Like the Bible says, don't be surprised about these uh, attacks that come against you and the trials that come against you. That just means you're in God. That means you're walking with God. And the Bible says that rejoice when they reject you and persecute, and persecute you and say all these negative things against you. Because that means like you're walking with God because if, if nothing was good was going in your life, if if you weren't born again, if you weren't, if the devil wasn't coming after you, that means you must not be doing anything, pretty much. So you just have to know that it's not going to come to pass. And also something you need to remember is the Bible says God blesses those who bless you and curses those who curse you. So the people who do good things to you, they'll be blessed themselves. Good things will come back to them. 
the people who uh, curse you and, and do all these lies and are behind all these plots, curses will be upon them because they're going to reap what they sow. Like the Bible says, you can't, if you lay a trap for somebody, you will fall in it. So don't, don't worry for one, because you got to remember this. The Bible says, like I said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's a, it's a work of the devil just trying to mess with you and get you off course. Uh, every single word that they say won't come to pass because every word spoken against me in judgment, God condemns. They fall to the ground. They have no effect. So that, we know that, and that what they sow, they'll reap. It'll come back to them. So you don't even have to get vengeance on them. The Bible says that vengeance is mine. I repay, says the Lord. So they're actually going to fall in the trap that they set for you eventually. Like, I've seen it time and time again where people do stuff against me. You know, I walk in love towards them. Um, you know, I may not be totally perfect. You know, we're we're still human too. Uh, but that, I mean, that's not an excuse. We can walk in love, but we got to have the armor of God on. We got to be praying in tongues and in the word to have the strength to walk in love. But, you know, if you're standing on God's word, God, like you can't curse what God has blessed. Like there's a story in the Old Testament where, um, they tried to get uh, this prophet to curse um, Israel. And it's like, hey, I can't curse what God has blessed. And what is written in the Old Testament is written for us today. You can't curse what God's blessed. You can't stop what God's doing. Um, yeah, so just be encouraged. Uh, don't worry about it. Their words fall to the ground, have no effect. Um, and it won't stop you. So keep moving forward. Keep praying for them. Know that what they reap, they will sow. And um, just trust God and, and they'll fall and you'll keep rising. So keep encouraged.